Hello everyone and welcome back to another screensaver video. I know, not the sexiest subject matter I could have chosen, but off the back of my last video it was the next logical step. My last video was about the Beam screensaver. Well, pretty obviously this one is about the Beam screensaver version 2.0. Beam 2 came out in 2007, four years after Beam 1.73 was released, and in that time a ton of improvements were made. The installer for the first version was only 2.2 megabytes and version 2 came in at 32 megabytes, so you can tell just from that that there was a lot more in the installation. It's 2.0 for a reason, everything is better. Far more dynamic lighting effects, colourful backgrounds to illuminate ships more effectively, higher resolution everything, venting atmosphere, explosions with a wobbly gas effect I can't think of a name for, regenerating shields. Let's get some examples of what I mean. In the first version, the explosions were functional to the point where you knew a ship had been destroyed. There was a firework in space and that was it. In version 2, when a ship is critically hit, it accelerates into an uncontrollable fireball and then detonates far more spectacularly with flaming chunks and a neon explosion of burning cabin atmosphere. Let's have another look at it at a slowed down speed to fully appreciate how good it looks. In this clip, we can see a ship takes a couple of big hits depleting its shields and it spins out of control. No two explosions are the same. Now, something I only just saw now while reviewing the recordings is this effect when an asteroid is hit by accident. Look where the beam hits. The rock of the asteroid is superheated by the laser, glows red hot and smokes then cools down. I can't believe I've never noticed that before. How absolutely brilliant is that? Back to Beam 1.73, there were no shields. You would see ships getting hit several times with no discernible damage being taken until suddenly... In Beam 2, there are shields that deplete over time, but then power back up. Take this ship, for example. It gets hit until its shielding is gone, and hull damage means it's venting atmosphere into space. The damage is repaired and the shields come back online. It then goes on to take some more hits. Also, I'd like to point out something else shield related from that clip and I'll slow it down so we can see what it does. Enemy ship blasts don't just get absorbed by the shield, they're reflected off at an angle. The attention to detail is amazing considering this is just a screensaver. The change to version 2 also brings a model overhaul. Here we have the same ship from each version and the difference is night and day. One is a collection of smeared squares and triangles and the other has exposed circuitry and bump mapping. It's like going from Doom to Doom 3. Along with enhanced details like worn or burnt paint jobs, running lights, new engine and weapon effect and extra model detailing, the three ship skins all now have model numbers. This one with the sharp pointy bits is BF5. Also, the dancing electricity bolt is new. In the previous version, there was a gap where it isn't. Presumably, it's an engine component of some kind? Let's just watch a bit of the glorious battle carnage this screensaver can provide for a moment. It's just a shame that this screensaver and its predecessor don't have any sound effects. There's an option in the settings for music playback from a track list though. Talking of which, we should probably have a look at the settings. The video settings have the usual resolution toggles you'd expect, but also options to disable or enable reflection, refraction, extra lights, glow effects, depth of field effects, motion blur and soft shadows. There are more options in here than in some old games. A handy tooltip tells you what the settings are for at the bottom. You can also have an FPS indicator, set gamma levels and alter the field of view. The audio section of the settings functions like a basic version of Winamp almost with an option to add a music library and gives on-screen controls when viewing the screensaver. After that we have scene settings. In here you can toggle team modes so have the three ship types in groups or all against all, shield and engine trail effects, 
space debris particles to give that sense of movement, colourful objects which turns on more lights on ships and the antenna dotted throughout the battle arena, and lens flare options. You could also enable controls for you to manually change the camera angles you view from, the number of stars, ships and asteroids on show, and at the top you can alter the size of the area your space battles takes place in. At the very top is an option to select the theme used. Unfortunately, the wonderful themes from the previous version could not be ported to Beam 2 because of issues with the new game engine used, so what there is, is what there is. Now, some of you may have noticed I'm using Windows 10. Well, don't get too excited thinking this will run on your up-to-date drivers, because it won't. This PC has Windows 10, but it's using the Windows 7 and 8 driver version 350.12. I tested masses of drivers, and after this version, the Zeus game engine comes up with an error. It's the same story with ATI cards, but I can't remember what driver version I found to be stable. So again, much like 1.73, this is for older operating systems and GPUs supported by older drivers, and is perfect as a showcase for your retro PC. Now, for everyone who watched through to this point, I have a New Year's present for you. If you check the description down below, you'll find a link to my Google Drive to download this screensaver, and same as in my last video, I've also included a master installation key for you to use and keep forever. As before, I would ask that anyone making use of this screensaver consider donating to the Ukraine Red Cross effort by following the description in the link below. This is because the team that created the screensaver operated out of Kiev in the Ukraine. That's it for now, I think. Happy New Year everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.